Hey guys, welcome back to another was another transfer episode. On today's episode, we have Tolani Hwatwayo to Orlando Pirates. The Kamabilia saga continues. We kick off the show with Tyson to Orlando Pirates. Orlando Pirates have been given a boost in their pursuit of Tyson, aka Tolani Swaswayo. The Bafana Bafana and Bedves Vets keeper has come out and made it clear that he wants a new challenge. He made the comments after a, their one nil win against Polokwane City. The Bafana Bafana skipper has made um, comments like this before. In 2017, he made um, a comment similar to this um, in a kickoff interview where he stated that my dream is to play for Orlando Pirates one day. The experienced center back has been heavily linked with Orlando Pirates since 2017. But the players recently signed a new deal with Bidvers Vitz in March 2018. These are the comments that the player made after the game. I am comfortable with Bidvers, you know, so the window, is, the, window, the window is not closed there, so anything can still happen. But you know, I'm still contracted to, to Bidvers Vitz, you know, and everything lies to, to the management, you know. Um, obviously, I did make it clear that um, I want a new challenge. And obviously, like I said, like the window is still open, so anything can still happen. The Clever Boys just offered Tyson a new deal um, last year um, with Vitz Chief Executive Jose Ferreira and Head Coach Given Hunt insisting that her try is not for sale. Um, Given Hunt came out with a statement on, of his own um, on the topic. Um, Given Hunt um, said the following statements. Um, I don't think there's any development. Um, but last night's um, game, referring to Paris' loss to Supersport, um, we can name our prize, can't we? Um, he doesn't need to go anywhere. Um, Hunt insists that Tyson is happy at the club and he doesn't want to leave. He's happy with us. He's fine. You can never say never in football. I mean, look what's happening down the road. Players leave for free and then they get them back. Um, um, Gavin Hunt was referring to the Kama Billiard transfer saga. So anything can happen in football. In the world of football as well, we know, I'm sure there's going to be movement here and there. But the boy doesn't want to go. I don't want to lose the boy. And he knows that. He's my captain and he's the captain of the national team. And he feels at home. We've come a long way. Yes, there might come a time where things um, will happen between a coach and a player and people move on. But right now, he's happy. Um, these were the statements made by Gavin Hunt. So due to recent events, um, Coach Mitchell has come out and made a statement on the Hotwayo um, situation. Um, asked on what he thinks about the player's current situation at best and how he'd impact or welcome him to Pirates, he said the following. Um, there's no coach in the country that wouldn't like to have a captain of Bafana Bafana, a person that brings personality and performance, said Coach Mitchell. But in the moment, until what is supposed to happen, the sports and economical constraints will unfold. I have no right to go in that direction. You know, as it is, I get together with my technical team. I believe in, a, in the players we have at present. But however, if we get the center back, we'd will, we, we would welcome him because we would welcome his quality. This is what Coach Mitchell had to say. Um, in my opinion, I believe that all is all that's needed for this transfer to go through is for the club, um, Pirates and Bidvesvitz to agree on an amount or on a price for uh, Tyson. And then the transfer goes through, but I think Vitz will be reluctant because where do they find another center back that will replace his quality and his impact in the squad? So I just feel it's a bit too late, but who knows, maybe Orlando Pirates can pull it off as the player is willing to move to Pirates, but bets could be a problem. We continue with the ongoing Kama Billiard transfer to Mamalodi Sundown. Kaiser Chiefs slam Sundowns and vow to take action over Kama Billiard. Kama Billiard is indeed interested in leaving Kaiser Chiefs for Mamalodi Sundowns during the current transfer window. According to a source within the Sundowns club, the Zimbabwean talisman has been in contact with um, a few of his friends from Clearcorp and then he's informed the club that he'd like to return. Um, remember that Kamabilad is still 
or still has a good relationship with the likes of um, Temba Zwane and Sibusiso Vilakazi. And sources within um, the Sundowns camp have been informed that Bilat has made it known that he wants to come back. According to another source, um, allegedly Kama Bilat drove to Sundowns training club in Clerkop and told club officials that he wanted to come back. Kaiser Chiefs have threatened to take action against their rivals Mamalodi Sundowns over Kama Bilat and have branded the Brazilians' public statements of their star player as unethical and acceptable. Chiefs came out swinging at Sundowns a few hours after um, the acting general manager of Sundowns made the claims that Kaiser Chiefs and Mamalodi Sundowns had on negotiation discussions about Kama Bilat saying that um, these statements were completely false and uncalled for. Chiefs confirmed that there was an initial approach for Kama Billiard from Sundowns while the star was um, um, in action at AFCON last month, but there were no negotiations with the chairman, Kaiser Mutawong. We informed them that Kama Billiard is not for sale. We concluded that Sundowns officials could have misinterpreted this in a manner. So we called them and asked them to refrain from spreading false information to, this, to the media and respect the rules. Kama Billet is committed to Kaiser Chiefs and is not joining any club anytime soon. We are considering taking action to deal with this unethical behavior and this cannot be tolerated. The Kaiser Chiefs chairman Kaiser Mutawung insists that there were no talks between um, the two clubs. Um, Kama Billiard's agent has also come out on the matter and has um, made a few comments speaking to Soka Laduma in their latest issue. Um, Kama Billiard is currently carrying a knock um, from the Soweto Derby against Orlando Pirates. He is still a Kaiser Chiefs player. Um, the injury is not that bad, but he'll be back on the field soon, said Ngobeni. He's going back on the field for Kaiser Chiefs and he's not going anywhere. Kama Billiard is playing for Kaiser Chiefs this season and he's not going anywhere. Sundowns never called me to discuss a move for Kama to their club. Um, this is what the agent had to say in terms of um, the movement of his client. So guys, the Kama Bile transfer saga continues to go on and on, but we still have more than 10 to 12 days left in the transfer window. Anything can happen. So if you like the video, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll keep you updated with the latest um, PSL news. See you guys in the next video.